to see you too. I'm so excited. Anytime I come on, this is great. I love this. Absolutely. We're excited. So Tony is here with item M83328. We have 16 of his four ounce packs of Philly cheesesteaks. We either have the beef option or we have the chicken option tonight. So we have four easy payments of $17.50 for 16 four ounce packs. That's a huge, That's a lot. huge yeah. amount. And this can go a really long way as well. But I don't know if I ever told you this story, Tony, but you know when um, you go to a wedding and they give you like the uh, welcome packet mm -hmm. that says, you know, the things in the local right. area. So when Ray and I got married 11 years ago, we had a lot of people from Michigan that were coming in for um, family and um, work friends. And they were like, well, you know, what, what, what do we do? Where do we go get cheesesteaks? And we are like, well, obviously. Oh, Tony well, I appreciate And that. they still rave about it oh, to this day. Not funny. our wedding. Not your wedding. Not the wedding. Not the the cheesesteak. This. Well, so I was going to say, something... I was supposed to be leaving and go to a dinner, but I could smell them. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not leaving. I'm, I'm staying for at least another eight minutes. But this is something that you can get if you can't get to Tony. Yeah, Lewis. and it's, you know, this is, you know, we put this together for QVC. Right. This meat, when you, it is super tender and incredibly flavorful. It is. It's so flavorful. It will accompany anything. Now, basically, people look at steak like this. They look at chicken. They think of the cheesesteak. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is what we do. And it is great. And the other thing, see the way we have this set up? My favorite thing is when I get together with my grandkids or just kids in general, like when we get, we get a, together, right. we make a batch of it. We put it in a heating tray. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the kids absolutely love to have the little stations of oh, different right. cheeses yeah, that's a great idea. and different vegetables. And it's a way to get them to eat the food that they might right. not want to eat anyway. Right. But they kind right. of make it, you make it fun for them because you make up in a batch. And my thing has always been low and slow. Okay. Don't okay. rush it. L medium well, heat. Well, see, that's the opposite of what I thought you would have done. Yeah, no, yeah. you want medium heat because what you want to do is you want to draw out all of that juice and that flavor because you want this to be juicy. Yes. You know, people complain that sometimes they have a cheesesteak and it's too oily. Right. Well, no, you don't need it. Very little oil. You cook it low and slow, and the natural flavors and the juice from this steak will just come out. And okay. it is absolutely spectacular. And it looks juicy. I mean, it yeah, looks and amazing. It, it's super easy. So picture a line. Yes. You got your favorite roll, whatever you want right. to do. You, the kids come in, whatever they want. They lay it in. It's super simple. They, they get a set of tongs. And you're good to go. Now, I like Wiz. And the great thing is, too, you can get Wiz and you put right. it in these little squeeze bottles so it doesn't go all over the place. And they can literally just top whatever they want with the Wiz. Look at that. Then they can go around. Look how nice that looks. They can go around and add onions, which, again, my favorite. I love onions, especially when they're, like, slightly caramelized like this. Oh, this is amazing. And I like heat. So I like a little of my banana cherry peppers on here. And that's, you're done. And right. that's a full, and that's a right. big sandwich. And Tony, you're sandwich. getting 16 of these, yeah. right? You're 16. gonna get 16 of these. I want you to see how it comes to you because yeah. every one of them is already perfectly portion controlled for you. This is one portion, right? You're gonna take this steak, there's one, two, three layers, making up that four ounce portion in size. And you're gonna take that steak and you're just gonna drop it into your saute pan. And Tony, what do you recommend for in terms of chopping this up? Just two spatulas? Yeah, I would just run two two spatulas, and I would use a canola oil. Right. Would steak like this? I absolutely do not recommend a flavored oil. Right. So olive oil is just it's just too strong for. I, I prefer canola oil. It has no flavor. It has a high heat point, which we don't care because we're cooking it what? Right. Low and slow. Right. Right. Same thing with the chicken. Anything you do low and slow, you'll get it, which is all chicken breast, by the way. This right. looks super moist, too. This it is. doesn't look dry It is, because it's at all chicken breast. It's right? all, it's all chicken. chicken breast. He's not using scraps and pieces of meat that are right. left over, right, from the main portion. This is all chicken breast. It's all quality domestic beef. That's what makes the difference in these cheesesteak sandwiches that he brings to us. And the other thing, you know, at New Year's, everyone makes their, their resolution. Right. Right. So the thing with me is, even when I try to eat healthy, and I, I think I know what I'm doing portion-wise, I tend to overeat, and I, and I ask them to bring a salad, right. which we have here. And the reason I ask them to put a salad up, 
because I love having salad and chicken. Right. Yes. But you know, you want to fill the salad up. So Great by the point. time you're done, you're cutting up this chicken, you have like nine ounces of chicken <laughs> in the salad. Great point. But this is so moist and juicy and so flavorful. This much fills the whole salad. It does. Where you're literally yeah. every bite that Three you're ounces. taking right. from the salad, it has chicken right. in it. I right. love that idea. And I, I just think, you know, you you see this giant portion, but you're not bringing in right. all of those unwanted calories. Great point. And you can still eat healthy with a salad. Exactly. Great point. Which I love. You know what, though? I think that it's always about moderation. Like, if you're, during the week, you're having your Faroe Island salmon, and you're having your, you know, Holland flounder, and you're having a piece of grilled chicken or grilled whatever, and then Saturday rolls around, this is what I want to treat. Oh yeah, you want to treat it. It's good all week. No doubt. It's just one and you're enjoying it and you're having your friends over and it's game day. This is a beautiful option. Right. And let me tell you and something. You're getting else. A lot of times when we order the cheesesteak or the chicken cheesesteak from the local pizza place and it comes, it's wet. You know, the way it was oh, yeah. wrapped. Yeah, the paper soaked. You know, it just because it doesn't, it seems. Right. It doesn't come to our house well. So to be able to just kind of pull one of those out and be able to nicely chop it myself, have a nice fresh roll, my own fixings, it, that just looks so much better Tony, than, than the ones that three come. minutes? How long does it take to cook? Oh, not e well, well, you're cooking a little bit slow, right. low and slow. So and three, low and slow. three to five minutes. And it's funny, I heard you talking earlier about uh, doing pasta dishes and adding right. different, and the, the thing with gravy was amazing because it kind of actually, I would always do that battle because right. come from South Philly, it's always gravy. Right. But when this steak is so flavorful, low and slow, and I'm a, I'm a hundred percent Italian. Yep. There are times I take this steak, I cook it low and slow in a pot, and then all the juice and the natural flavors from the steak rest to the bottom. Okay. I add Sicilian hot peppers. Mm. And I add puree to that. Now it's not a it's not a typical like a bolognese, right. Yeah, right. but it is a meat gravy, and it's so simple and so easy. And the flavor that comes out of this, and it stays nice and tender. And I love eating this over the uh, like ziti. I right. like it over right. ziti because right. I like to eat it with a spoon. But the combinations of what you can do with this meat, I I heard him say when he was promising about the salmon and the fillets same thing you will be amazed will. at the flavor of this steak and this chicken i've had people order and eat this chicken and said what do you what do you do that makes right. it so moist right. how do you how do you keep it so moist right. it's a it, it is a chicken breast that's what we do right done really well there it is you're starting with the right you're material. starting with the you said when you start with quality ingredients, it's very, you can't mess it up. Right. You can't you can mess it up. Exactly, so whether you're starting with the beef or the chicken, he's using whole solid muscle meat, right? Look at the difference. Versus getting trimmings and chopping it up Woo! and putting it in your grill, that's okay. Sorry, I'm okay. so excited, I got All nervous. Good. I dropped the cheese. Dropped a little Maybe cheese, no big deal. Can we get but any more cheese? When you start with more, the right chicken, you start with the right beef, it's it's easy to bring an incredible product to you at home. But Tony, these are just so easy, and I want to make sure everybody understands, right? They're gonna to come to you layer packed in this box like this. Eight mm. stacks, yep. every one of them individually portioned with the paper between. So you just take it out, take it off, take the paper off, drop that meat in your skillet, and this is the perfect size for one sandwich, right? Four ounces of meat ready to go, and you're gonna get 16 of them, whether it's the beef or the chicken. So what were you gonna make here? Here's the thing, I, I love I, comfort I, I food, and you brought up comfort food. You take your favorite flatbread that we have right here. Chef Lou to the rescue. Chef Lou to and, the and rescue. And definitely do not drop the mozzarella cheese on the floor <laughs> like I did. I do it. So I put a little oil, and believe it or not, you don't even you don't have fresh garlic. A little garlic powder will work just as well. And then you put your cheese on top, okay, like so. Now again, I like heat, so I like to add some some peppers some hot peppers. Now, what I do is because sometimes I can't make up my mind, I'll do half oh, that's great. of the chicken. And you can get these flatbreads pre-made. Oh yeah, easy. So and then nice and easy. And then we do this, and I'm sure we have a finished product that we can show from the magic of television. Yep. Of course we do. We'll put this over here. Look how beautiful this is. Look at that. Oh, I love this. It is that's, that comfort food. One, that one steak. Yeah, if right. that. Maybe, this, yeah, if that. Into like uh, smaller portions, right. and then you have your hors d'oeuvres. Right. 
Uh, three people three or four people on our turf. Exactly. My, my guilty pleasure, I'm sorry. It's my, it's my guilty pleasure. Honestly, yeah, and it's but... not that bad with flat fry. Right. Really, no, it is. it's not. Definitely not. And it so, smells amazing. I love the heat, too. Just... Yeah, because I will be taking this home with me. Right, exactly. exactly. <laughs> this is coming home with me. <laughs> Guys, I'm so happy. QVC, right. you know I love you so much. It is such an honor to be on and yes. with the Rustelli family. We, we, to no, be on honor. and to do this. Thank you. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you. I know you're going to enjoy it. Yes. I know you are. You will. You will. So well, stay tuned. Thank you so much for being here with us tonight. We Every Tuesday night from 6 to 7 p.m. Just have a great time with you guys. But uh, we have, I think, a full hour, Brittany, of Rooming Holiday? I believe we do. Yes. So stay tuned. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, we're going to have tonight. Exactly.